Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm your host on Respawn News as usual, and today we're talking Elden Ring, the Animal Crossing Spring Update, and Halo Infinite. From Software's next big release is the title Elden Ring, and a recent investor call gave us some insight as to how soon we can be expecting the highly anticipated game. The call suggested that we'll be able to get our hands on the game within the year. Elden Ring was first revealed at Microsoft's 2019 E3 press conference, notably the last E3 to be an in-person show. And since then, the studio has not given us anything else other than a cinematic trailer and some hints as to what we can expect from the game. So far, the biggest detail that is intriguing most gamers is that it's being made in collaboration with well-respected writer George R. R. Martin, famously known for the novel series A Song of Ice and Fire, that was course adapted into the Game of Thrones HBO series. Elden Ring will stick to the Dark Souls formula of creating a character like many RPG titles before it, this mostly means that we will not be playing as a defined character such as we do in games like Sekiro. And instead, we will fill the role of the Chosen One, as we have seen in many titles before this, like Skyrim. From Softwares has stated the game will be their biggest project yet in terms of sheer scale, suggesting a possible open map design instead of dungeons and castles laid out for us to explore, but I hope we get some of that too. We aren't sure when we'll see more from the game, but my best guess is that we will see it make an appearance during Microsoft's or Bandai Namco's 2021 E3 event that will of course be delivered online. I'm super eager just to see exactly how this game will be like and how it will play in comparison to titles that came before it. You can bet we'll be talking about it here on the show the second we get more real info or even a big reveal, hopefully within a few short months. It is a great time of the year for Animal Crossing fans as the spring season is upon us and the game's 2.0 update is finally here, bringing new features and content that will be rolling out over the next few weeks. The new content will bring back several fan favorite events that only come around in the springtime. Of course, with new seasonal items hitting shelves starting April 28th, so, if you're already looking to pay your island another visit after some time away, there'll be some new items already waiting for you. The May Day Tour has already hit consoles and allows players to take part in a maze game where you can actually earn rewards. And that is already available for you guys. It started April 29th and it runs until May 7th. But that is not the end of it. Starting May 18th, International Museum Day will begin and run until the 31st, where you can collect daily stamps from the museum. So there will be something new for you to earn every day you log into the game. And finally, everyone's favorite wedding season is back, but you will have to wait until June. For that, your help will surely be needed taking anniversary photos on Harv's Island. Apart from all these new events, in regular fashion there will be spring and wedding themed events available for you to go and buy, including new fish and bugs that are waiting to be caught, including Maui Maui, scorpions, and sea pigs. Animal Crossing has been going strong for over a year now, and players are still having a blast with it. The initial hype has died out like anything else, but I'm super glad Nintendo is sticking to their guns on this one, because it is definitely their breadwinner. But we may see tides shift over the few months coming because Pokemon titles are starting to release, of course, as we just saw the release of Pokemon Snap, and we're moving closer and closer to the Diamond and Pearl remake that we'll be seeing later this year. And we got some Halo news to talk about here on the show. 343 has announced that the beta testing for the game will begin relatively soon. We should be able to expect the beta testing to begin and run for the Halo Insiders program this summer before the game's holiday release. Halo Infinite received a lot of flack a few months ago due to their hefty delay of about an entire year. If you ask me, usually there's only good to come out of game delays. Usually. Giving devs more time to polish core mechanics and visuals only really benefits gamers at the end of the day. But it seems they have been making good progress as they are starting to move into the testing phase of the game. 
343 also recently announced Halo Infinite will support ultra-wide monitors as well as complete keyboard and mouse support for Xbox Series consoles. That's not all though. In recent Xbox fashion, Halo Infinite will support smart delivery, meaning if you own the game either through Game Pass or through an actual purchase, you'll be able to own it on PC and console. And of course, all of your progression will be meshed together so it absolutely does not matter whether you flip-flop between PC and Xbox in between play sessions. In addition to this, 343 told fans that they will have settings in place so you can toggle PC and console crossplay if you're not looking to get embarrassed by those PC players' superior accuracy. I'm personally happy to see Xbox blend PC and consoles so seamlessly like the way they've been doing with games like Sea of Thieves, Gears 5, The Outer Worlds, and many more. They're definitely taking this next generation in the right direction if you ask me. And that is all the gaming news I got for you guys today from Respawn News. I'm Benjamin Smith. Let me know what you guys have been playing in the comments section down below, and I'll see you next week.